Karen Dorr, a notable actress, has left an enduring impact through her work. Whether you recall a specific scene or a performance that resonated with you, her contributions to classic Hollywood cinema are unmistakable. What's your lasting memory from one of her works? We're curious to hear your cherished moments or personal experiences related to this seasoned actor. Share your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned for some surprising, amusing, and poignant facts about Karen Dorr. There's more to discover. Keep watching. Karen Dorr, the talented German actress, made a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Renowned for contributions to both German and international films, her diverse filmography showcases her exceptional talent. One of her most iconic projects is the 1967 James Bond film You Only Live Twice, where she portrayed the character Helga Brandt. This Bond classic remains a must-watch for fans of espionage and action genres. In the realm of German cinema, her captivating performance in the 1963 film Tiger of Bengal is noteworthy. This adventure film highlights her acting prowess and adds to her enduring legacy. For those new to her work, exploring her role in the 1965 thriller The Face of Fu Manchu is highly recommended. The film, set in a mysterious landscape, serves as a great introduction to her versatile acting skills. In the world of suspense, Topaz, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, stands out. Her role in this Cold War thriller adds a layer of intrigue, making it a compelling watch. Fans of crime dramas should not miss Assignment K, where her performance contributes to the film's captivating narrative. The complexity of the plot and her nuanced portrayal make it a memorable experience. To delve into her German filmography, The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism is a fascinating choice. This horror film showcases her ability to navigate different genres, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Karen Dorr's filmography, enriched with diverse roles, offers a captivating journey through the annals of cinema. Exploring these must-watch movies will undoubtedly resonate with both seasoned fans and newcomers alike. Enjoy the cinematic experience. Actress Karen Dorr encountered financial challenges and other life struggles during her career. Despite her success in the film industry, she faced recurring financial problems, managing her finances, and coping with strained circumstances. Her journey was marked by periods of financial instability, influenced by factors such as fluctuating income, unforeseen expenses, and in some instances, professional setbacks. The entertainment industry's unpredictable nature contributed to the ebb and flow of her financial situation. Additionally, personal struggles outside the realm of her career added to the challenges. Life's inevitable complexities, including health issues or personal relationships, further compounded the difficulties she faced. These external factors often intertwined with financial strains, creating a tapestry of challenges for the actress. In moments of adversity, Dorr exhibited resilience, navigating through the intricacies of personal and financial struggles. The toll of these challenges, however, remained a testament to the realities faced by individuals in the public eye. In conclusion, she confronted financial problems and other life struggles throughout her career, highlighting the nuanced aspects of a life in the spotlight. Her ability to persevere in the face of adversity serves as a reminder of the human experience behind the glamour of the entertainment industry. Living between Los Angeles and Munich, Karin Dorr, a name synonymous with cinematic history, stands as the first German Bond girl in the iconic film You Only Live Twice. Her influence extends beyond the silver screen. She is the mother of Andreas Reynal, born on November 21, 1955. The contrast of her dual residences reveals the global footprint of her life. While navigating the dynamic film industry in Hollywood, ties to Munich underline a rooted connection to German roots. This intersection of two distinct worlds adds layers to her life, shaping a narrative that transcends boundaries. Adding a familial dimension, Andreas Reynolds' birth on November 21, 1955, further emphasizes the personal facets of her life. As a mother, her influence extends beyond cinematic roles, weaving a personal story into the fabric of her professional journey. Karen Dorr's trailblazing role as the first German Bond girl marks a pivotal moment in cinematic history. The portrayal in You Only Live Twice not only cemented her place in the Bond legacy, but also shattered stereotypes, paving the way for future generations of German actors on the international stage. In conclusion, her life unfolds as a tapestry woven between two continents, marked by significant familial milestones and groundbreaking achievements in cinema.
The legacy etched in the annals of film history serves as a testament to enduring impact on the world stage. Known in Germany as Miss Crime for her prolific appearances in numerous gangster films, Karen Dorr carved a unique niche in the cinematic landscape. In 1954, at the age of 16, she married Harold Raynal, a seasoned film director 30 years her senior, employing 1936 as her birth year. Raynal, a formidable figure in German cinema, added a distinctive chapter to her life. Beyond her filmography, Dorr showcased versatility by portraying the leading role in Dare Neurosenkevalier over 500 times. This theatrical feat underscored commitment to the craft and solidified her presence on the stage. Navigating a dual residence between Los Angeles and Munich, her life unfolded across continents. Early marriage to Raynal and subsequent years in the German film industry marked significant milestones in her personal and professional journey. The moniker Miss Crime echoed her prominence in gangster films, reflecting a time when her star was on the rise. In addition to cinematic achievements, her marriage to Raynal, a towering figure in German cinema, added a layer of complexity to her life. The age difference and association with a prominent director contributed to the intricacies of her personal narrative. In July 2016, during a holiday in South Tyrol, she faced an unfortunate incident that would significantly impact her life. Accidentally rammed by a woman with a stroller, she suffered a backward fall onto concrete, resulting in a 4cm head wound requiring hospital stitches. Despite an hour-long memory loss, initial medical assessments found no brain concussion or intracranial injury. Weeks later, during rehearsals for Dare Dresser at Man, doctors realized the severity of her injuries as she began experiencing headaches and fatigue. Undeterred, she continued working, defying doctor's advice. From October to November 2016, she graced the stage at Comedy and Bayerischenhof in Munich, showcasing resilience even as she felt limited motor function in her right leg. Her condition took a sudden turn in January 2017, leading to a rapid deterioration by March. Confined to a care home, she passed away, marking the end of an era in the cinematic world. Amidst her prolific career, she also ventured into shooting a Rosamund Pilcher movie in England in May 2010, showcasing dedication to her craft. Additionally, she took the stage in Munich for the Playman Lebt Ner Dremel in August 2007, embodying the leading role with characteristic commitment. These later events add layers to her life, reflecting resilience in the face of adversity and unwavering dedication to artistic pursuits. Her legacy, intertwined with these personal and professional challenges, serves as a poignant reminder of the indomitable spirit she brought to both the stage and screen. Known for her significant contributions to international cinema, she later established herself as a respected stage actress. At the age of 16, she caught the attention of a filmmaker while walking home from school, eventually securing a six-picture contract after impressing in The Silent Angel. Transitioning seamlessly between the silver screen and stage, she took on the lead role in Trau Canem Uber 60 in Munich in March 1996. Her journey from a chance encounter to a prolific film contract showcases the early promise that marked her career. The transition from movie productions to the stage solidified her versatility as an actress. Notably, her stage presence in Trau Canem Uber 60 added another dimension to her repertoire, proving her ability to command attention in diverse performance spaces. This trajectory in her career exemplifies her adaptability and skill navigating between different mediums effortlessly. The article aims to delve deeper into these aspects, shedding light on Karen Dorr's remarkable journey from a young talent discovered on the streets to a seasoned actress leaving an enduring impact on both film and stage. Karen Dorr, a prominent figure in cinematic history, faced significant challenges during her later years. In July 2016, while on holiday in South Tyrol, she suffered an unfortunate incident, a backward fall onto concrete after being accidentally rammed by a woman with a stroller. This incident resulted in a 4CM head wound requiring hospital stitches. Despite initial assessments showing no severe injuries, weeks later, during rehearsals for Dare Dresser Man, the true extent of her injuries became apparent. Undeterred, she continued working, defying medical advice. From October to November 2016, she exhibited resilience on the stage at Comedy am Bayerischenhof in Munich, despite experiencing limited motor function in her right leg. However, her condition took a sudden turn in January 2017, leading to a rapid deterioration by March. 
Confined to a care home, she passed away, marking the end of an era in the cinematic world. Her legacy, intertwined with personal and professional challenges, serves as a poignant reminder of the indomitable spirit she brought to both the stage and screen. Throughout her prolific career, she not only made significant contributions to international cinema, but also established herself as a respected stage actress. Discovered at the age of 16 while walking home from school, she secured a six-picture contract after impressing in The Silent Angel. Transitioning seamlessly between the silver screen and stage, she took on the lead role in Trau Canem Uber 60 in Munich in March 1996. This journey from a chance encounter to a seasoned actress exemplifies adaptability and skill, leaving an enduring impact on both film and stage. In May 2010, she ventured into shooting a Rosamund Pilcher movie in England, showcasing dedication to her craft. Additionally, in August 2007, she took the stage in Munich for the Playman Lebt Nerdramel, embodying the leading role with characteristic commitment. These later events add layers to her life, reflecting resilience in the face of adversity and unwavering dedication to artistic pursuits. Her life, marked by challenges and triumphs, stands as a testament to unwavering commitment to the world of entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on the realms of both cinema and stage.